Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And today we are opening a letter, just a small mail day. I think I can already see it here. And this is actually the result of me um, playing a couple of games of old school Commander. And uh, in Commander, there is this situation and I'll open an envelope in the meanwhile. There's a situation where there are actually a few cards that allow you to play uh, with a mono-colored commander. So they're not legendary, but they're kind of made legendary in old school. And I've actually, if you're interested in that stuff, there is a link in the description below that links to the article where you can read about it. So one of the commanders, one of the cards that's uh, that's made, one of the cards that's made um, a legend, I'm getting very happy with this. Bubble envelope, top loader. Really happy with this. Um, so one of the cards that has been turned into kind of a commander in old school is Simbat. So I build a deck with artifacts and, and blue, because Simbat is blue, and obviously a lot of mana. And then somebody said, if you're playing with Simbat, you need this card. And I realized, hey, I don't have that card. So. This is actually that card. So it is an enchantment. It's from Legends. It's blue, of course. It's one blue to cast. Do you already know what it is? Maybe, maybe you do. Let me just take it out of the sleeve. Oh, there's another sleeve. Wow. And this one was for sale by a Dutchman. Magic the Gathering. And here we go. It is Field of Dreams on Enchant World, one to cast, one blue. And the top card of each player's library is always face up. Very cool art, very cool art. And here you can see the uh, artist Kaya Foglio. I mean, Kaya just makes beautiful art. Full stop. Now the great thing about this is actually, uh, besides it just being a useful card in combination with uh, Millstone, you've got the deck Mill of Dreams. Um, I, can actually, I can put a link to the Mill of Dreams. I'll probably There's probably a link popping up right now because I've played against the Mill of Dreams deck and then you can kind of see that combo deck. But besides the fact that it's really useful and also really useful with Simbat, um, you can also use this to kill other Enchant Worlds. So it can actually be in your sideboard and when you, for example, play against a card like the Abyss or Lance Edge, you can just board this in to kind of um, kill their enchant worlds because it's kind of hard with, with blue to remove enchantments. I mean, you can counter them, but if you can't counter, you're kind of in trouble. So let me just really quickly show you the, um, and there's another folder here open. Let me just really quickly show you the, the combo that I'm going to use it with. So in my deck, let me take this out of the sleeve as well. So in my deck, whoop, in my commander deck where Simbad is the commander, I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use the Field of Dreams because Simbad tapped to draw a card from the library, but discard that card if it's not a land card. Hey, Field of Dreams will tell me if it's actually a land card. Wow, isn't that fantastic? So. Really cool, looking forward to play this combo. Uh, thank you for watching uh, this episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And if you wanna support the channel, um, you can do so by becoming a Patreon. There's probably a link popping up right now. So check out our um, Patreon page and you can actually see what we do. We have our own Discord, we organize tournaments. Uh, there are some giveaways. Um, so yeah, it might be interested for you to for you to join, interesting to join, so you can check it out. Actually, talking about Patreon, let's go to the end scroll and let's take a look of all the fantastic, amazing, super cool patrons of Timmy Talks.
just think it's a samba kazee. 